Tuesdays, I see some green this morning. Not an awful lot of it, but the Dow's up 60, Nasdaq up 45. Eddie Gabor with me now. Do you think that this election, the forthcoming election, does it upset the market at all? I think one thing we know is the markets hate uncertainty, and so we expect the back half of September going into October, if this election looks like it's a coin toss, to really see volatility increase, and I think that's what we're going to see. Uh, the bottom line is the market will not like corporate tax hikes going to levels that could potentially go uh, to, as well as the fact of taxing unrealized capital gains. These are policies that are being talked about right now, and if it looks like those are the policies that are going to be set forth based on an election result, this market will recalibrate and reprice. Uh, so short term, it's bullish in the sense of where the market could get to. Uh, but as we get to those areas, we'll continue to take down risk if we think there's a real chance that could happen, because the markets, in our opinion, will not like that. OK, but we've had a, a very interesting V-shaped recovery here. In fact, we've recovered almost all of the lost ground at the bottom of the V. Uh, you don't think that we're going to go onwards and upwards from here? Stuart, this has been the most amazing recovery I've seen in my 26 years. Two weeks ago, we had a VIX at 60 and people begging for emergency rate cuts. Uh, now we've had this massive bounce back. And what I think that ultimately means is now the upside is limited here over the next few weeks. Could the market get to all-time highs and through it? Yes, and we actually expect that short term. But, you know, you're looking at 1.5% to 3% upside. Uh, so we would be trimming as we get to higher, higher levels going into September. All right, we shall see. Eddie Gabor, thanks for coming back to us. We'll see you again soon. All right.